Big Mike, is somewhat of an immovable object out here on the DDD, man. That is I a mean, great, that known is a great way. throughout uh, the nation. The big thing to note here is that, you know, there's a lot of slander, a lot of talk on Steve, on the internet, on that bird app, but he's going to have to face another bird here in this one. And it is going to be big body, big Mike here. I feel like everyone knows that it, the, the, the only issue with Steve feels like he gets too much for doing too little. And, you know, against this big body boy, you're definitely going to get to see him get away with a lot, especially with these wood tools, the minimal knockback. Uh, you're going to see a lot of, you know, unfortunate hurt boxes that are just getting absorbed by my mans here on I mean, this Enderman. I mean, we've seen great stuff from Mike. Sometimes, you know, he's got to go against these Steve's online, I have to imagine. So he's got a game plan here to see if he can execute. Starts to get some Gordo action going, and that's what he needs to do, but can't swallow that. That's gonna be a spicy. Rolls up, doesn't get the second roll. That card does so much work. I feel like they just take a couple hitboxes off of that alone. It'll make the character a little less crazy, but the mallet of truth. Just like Kanye West Woo! said, the one piece is real. I'm loving the, the synchronicity of the tags here. <laughs> Okay, I mean, I mean that just goes to show you, uh, you know, these two competitors meeting in round two have a lot to lose here. Even synchronizing. He said, I want to be one piece. He said, okay, gonna push the TNT a little bit close to him. Rolls up. Okay, you can see him farming a little bit, but he's just gonna take that car up to the mouth. Trying to read something here. Big Mike waiting. That shield did not go down Hugh. nearly as much as I thought it was from that hit. Just get the weird corner of that. Great patience from Q there, but he's going to need to do something nice like that to get that kill because the rage Big Mike was starting to become an issue, but the Gordo off spawn is both, even more of an issue. Both was an issue there. I mean, if one Gordo was going to take that, have these ladder controls up and down, and now that, I mean, a mallet is just as crazy as a diamond sword, in my opinion. That's a great pivot grab. So on the pivot grabs today. Double hit, Ooh. triple hit. Baby. Looking for another one. Can't really space him out, though. One of the best recoveries in the game. Weird timing on that. Oh, no. Punish was missed there. Oh, my big Mike just a little bit, but he's not going to drop the ball completely. Gonna can keep racking up the damage here on Hugh, which is so important. Keeping that momentum up, trying to get this diamond pickaxe, this diamond tools to be nullified. But. There's going to be a drop of that on top of Blake Mike's head. He's going to get sent off. It's going to be really nice pressure being put on by Hugh here as he gets some time to mine and get the time to formulate a game plan on how he wants to close out this stock. Just gets the back top of that. Very good movement here from Big Mike. You know, last second, uh, any, anything can happen here in this stock, really. 129, the cart comes out. I don't know, man. Everyone's got something to say about this character, and I mean, I totally understand the pickaxe is gonna come out when he gets the kill with the Gordo. Yeah, going that to get a quick response. Mallet. Nice falling back air there by Big Mike to get that stock away. He's gonna try and get him into an up air string, but not going to have the time. Such quick recovery windows as well that this character just provides. You know, if, like, if you pay six dollars, <laughs> you're well, gonna have I a just good time feel with this like, character. Uh, Enderman literally does whatever he wants in the game. Oh, but you can't dodge the mega hit. <laughs> That's going to be the call out of the century. Yeah. Exactly I, when Big Mike needs it. I, I, I was trying to put together a sentence on how, you know, it's just hard to combo the character. Um, and Mike says, oh, we don't need combos. No combos we need, needed. We need one or two moves here. Yeah, just similar to a lot of pressure that it can be put out by those big body characters. You see it used to the best effect there by Big Mike. I mean, that's one of the things that you can kind of say about this character. Yes, it's fun to run around on Steve and do your combos and, and get back to stage very easily, has one of the better recoveries in the game. But at the end of the day, I think you're just a little bit lighter, even though he was all the way mined up. Right. He was an absolute mind. Yeah, he had the time. I mentioned it in the middle of that stock. He got that breathing room. He got his redstones. He had his steel. Everything was in his corner, but it was just the big mind by Big Mike. Yeah. Got what he needed. Once the mallet came out, they put the, the sick, put it in four by four, and then sent it straight to the underworld, bro. <laughs> Waste. All right, let's see if Big Mike or Hugh can, uh, in this game,
because honestly, both of them showed. I mean, it, it's really hard to get, you know, once you get that first kill to go your way. Right. On Mike, he kind of steps up and goes that little bit extra to get that last one, but it was even before that. And I mean, I feel like everybody just gets enraged by playing Steve. So once you get your momentum and you're like, oh no, I got you, checkmate, yeah. you're definitely hitting that. Screen. You have all these cool combos you worked on, and if you haven't worked on them with or against the Steve. Yeah, we, I mean, we don't have, like, the Vegas Steve yet. Hugh definitely starting to be, you know, the one to fill that niche. But I bet he also I can play some He plays everybody, so. I bet I can play some Steve, man. Let me, somebody give me six bucks, dude. Ooh, headshot. But, okay, that was just all dramatic for not too much hit. He's actually going to roll that right back to him. Nikki said, I need my cutscenes to mean something. Yeah. <laughs> 137, there's a cutscene on the screen for you, Steve, hitting that 2D. That was 3D, 2D right there, gotta love. I'm gonna blank out this. Okay, so uh, Mike seeming like he took the first round to kind of uh, play out and see what you had here. Now he's starting to put the sauce on this penguin. Yeah, he's doing a great job of making sure he gets as much, uh, much as he needs out of this lead that he's able to get early in the game here. Already getting to 100% on this stock, and that is going to be more than enough to knock him out. If he's able to get a substantial hit like that, would have that been a... That was a good roll, and now that he's looking for a little bit more mining, I feel like he needs to take this time to mine, because once you have the down, down the stock, it's time to get to mining. That's a nice back throw coming out from Big Mike. Gonna put himself in advantage here. Oh, not gonna hit them. Oh. The shielding. Great understanding of what the animation lag on that attack is. Had to go fully through with that. And Big Mike able to get another stock now. Looking for the three stock. I mean, it's totally possible on this DDD. Yeah, I mean, uh, nerf, uh, nerf Big Mike is what it's looking like here on Twitter. Because Steve looks to be not a problem right now in this round two. Oh, wait a second. Stop that. Is this not entertaining? Are you not entertained? Oh, starts to do a little bit. Doesn't get the pivot grab. And now he's in the ladder. Okay, wait a second. Hugh's starting to feel himself. Yeah, putting on gear two out here, making sure that he has some type of response here in game two against Big Mike. Does not want to see the loser side on a 2-0 after he has been playing really well. I mean, some of the shielding could be a little better when it comes to the portals, but I get hit by those online too. Oh! Hey. Wait a second. He's oh, gonna... snap skis. Oh, he going. Oh, he going. Oh, the, the taunt battle the uh, taunt. win. That's... Yeah, like, yeah, you gotta, you can't just talk. You gotta put up or shut up here. And uh, Hugh does an amazing job of, of kind of tilting Mike. Yeah, he said, oh, you want to taunt? I'm a taunt. But wait, I've exposed my rear. And gets Ooh. a lot out of it. Going to be now, uh, you know, a very possible game to come out from Hugh. I mean, but we know how. Mike ended it earlier yeah. with that one big hit, but now Diamond's out. He is at 120, but just one little ladder call-out combo here might be what you need. Gonna be oh, that's not what he needs. That's a miss input there. He's going to have to be very respectful, and you're not being respectful above that massive mallet. Great game from Hugh. Really doing a good job stabilizing that game, but Big Mike. Like we said, an immovable object, and he's gonna stay on winner's side so with a very so great So he's down up. two stocks, right? And then he utilizes the power of the tea bag, gets all of the Earl Grey, and just does the sickest thing I've seen in a while. That's a huge call out by Hugh, but then an even better, you know, finish. Hey, man, well, I don't know. The game's not over. I don't know why. I'm gonna respawn. Yeah, yeah. And a uh, yeah. big shout out to Big Mike. Another big shout out to Big Mike for just the responses he had on stocks. Every time he lost a stock, he no was extra credit. quick yeah. to get that back. He my man's, the that, teacher, off that, my man's that teacher that literally throws the thing. And he's like, nah, man, we got a pop quiz. You don't get a good grade. No extra credit. No extra credit. Nobody. And it's popped up everywhere. He always had great uh, questions for you in that uh, in that matchup when usually it's Steve that's dictating the questions. Steve that has the walls built up behind him and is able to tech things that shouldn't be techable. Yeah. Big Mike was finding those times when uh, Hugh would, you know, choose to come out of those, be that, a little too that aggressive. Call out or, you know. too. He was he was making little blocks in the sky on the platform and then all of a sudden. He, uh, you know, Big Mike just comes through and hits him with the, the down B mallet? Ew. 
Ew. Didn't, even need, didn't even need the full sauce on it, but we're going to get into some highlights from that amazing matchup. Uh, shout out to production for always having these God ready, bless. crisp, go. We, we hopefully we'll see some of these response kills I, mean, I was talking yeah, about I mean, earlier. We were, we were literally to just talking about it. Uh, you were saying it comes down to these last second hits and then the response is coming out. Look at this. Yeah, you thought you was coming back. I'm jumping over. Yeah, great mind there in that game. And then in game two here at the Yoshi's, uh, the counter pick from Hugh, which, you know, does have those different little ledges to play on. Big Mike still was big dictating Mike, the, the pace. Such a big presence on this map. He's literally half the map here. So nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. But Hugh, after the teabag, going dummy. Yeah, both of them just uh, a little bit of fun, but a little bit of flex, too, throughout was, the whole matchup. That was a lot so. of flex. And I know for a fact that Hugh was going to go down into that lower bracket and absolutely destroy anybody who's not ready for a little 